a little transparent tote unit. Here we go to much money. How much? How much? How much money? More than five. Five. Four, nine, five, 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 six, eight, six, five. Have this under control. 13, 50, 14, 14, 50, 1500, 1500. Storage Wars is currently one of the most popular series on television. The reality stars of this fun treasure hunting meets let's make a deal idea bid on repossessed storage containers without knowing what's in them. Storage Wars is addicting, and we can't seem to get enough of it, unlocking a door and receiving a major revelation as to the prospective treasures that lie within an abandoned apartment is a thrilling experience. Fans have a lot of questions which we won't be able to answer until we see what's inside these storage containers. They get a brief tour of the unit, but they can't dig in until they've paid the bill. It's always amazing and fascinating to watch what they produce. But these deal-seeking gamblers are nearly always a source of drama. They may be ruthless, calculating and eager to go to any length to make a fortune. Whilst most of their drama is broadcast on television, some of the more dubious details are kept hidden. Whilst we watch a lot of Storage Wars drama play out on screen, there are a few things the actors in Storage Wars would like to keep hidden. So for today's video, let's dig deeper into why Storage Wars' cast tries to keep these 15 facts over secrets. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Number 15. Once they uncovered animal remains in a storage locker. Storage Wars' team occasionally gets more than they bargain for, and not in a good way. Whilst digging through their storage units, they discovered some unusual things. In Brandy's flat, she discovered the ashes of deceased pets. She did the right thing and gave them back to the previous owner. Number 14. Barry's Hat – The Shadiest Gift Ever Given in comparison to some of the other show's stars, Barry Weiss is a relatively popular guy. As a result, it was a bad image for him and the network when he gave a certain star a dubious hat. Sandra Bullock's ex-husband, Jesse James, was photographed wearing Barry's obscene presence. Barry adhered to fruit basket. Come on, get back over here, Dave. Pull your skirt down. Dump. Come at, come at me with that dump one more time there. Dump. Number 13. Brandon Sheets never finished high school. Brandon Sheets, Daryl Sheets' son, was one of the show's younger stars. He opted not to pursue higher education and instead entered the family company. Whilst there's nothing wrong with following this path in life, Brandon never graduated from high school. Most parents at least encourage their children to reach that goal. Number 12. Brandy and Mary fight on camera but get along in real life Brandy Passante and Mary Padian are frequently seen teasing one another on Storage Wars. From the perspective of the audience, they don't look like the best of friends. So, what exactly is going on between these two in real life? Is their squabble only for show? Maybe, once the cameras are turned off, the ladies appear to have a good connection. Number 11. Brandy's Million Dollar Lawsuit Fail When video footage of a lady who looked precisely like Brandy was released, she was taken aback. The clip was also not something any lady would like to see floating around on the internet. She attempted to sue the film's developer for $2.5 million, but she only received $750 in compensation. Number 10. Claims of staging have circulated Storage Wars has been accused of being staged on multiple occasions. Even one of the show's previous stars has come out with similar concerns. To create a level playing field and keep things more interesting, he suggested A&E would compensate for the smaller businesses to have storage lockers while the big wigs would spend their own money. Number 9. Daryl was really unhappy about his demotion When Daryl was notified that his performances and income were likely to take a big hit in 2015, he got a little hot under the collar. In a single season, he went from participating in every episode to only four. Worse yet, his salary was halved. Yep, we'd be irritated as well. Number 8. Jared's past with substances Jared Schultz, the star of Storage Wars, has had several run-ins with the boys in blue over the years. The man may be making better choices these days, but he was incarcerated years ago as a result of his decisions. He was sentenced to 16 months in prison for breaching multiple laws. Look at these guys. You know, you're like a little dark oh, ass mother yeah. Why do you get so freaky out, man? Dan, it's all Number 7. There might be some scripting involved as well. 
Storage wars could not only be arranged, but they could also be written. Similar claims of scripting have been leveled against several reality television shows, so this isn't really shocking. Even so, it's likely that the actors and the show's creators would prefer that viewers forgot about it whilst watching. Number 6. The spin-off shows were tremendous flops Brandy and Jared are probably the program's breakout stars, so it's no surprise that they sought to break out on their own with their own spin-off show. Married to the Job, on the other hand, was not quite as popular as Storage Wars. In fact, it was a little humiliating. Number 5. Brandy got behind the wheel of a car when she shouldn't have When you become a reality TV star, all of your previous dirty laundry is exposed for the rest of the world to see and criticize. When the public realized that Brandy Passante had once gone behind the wheel of an automobile when she shouldn't have, she couldn't have been overjoyed. You know, Dave, I'll, I'd shut your mouth if I were you, because I can't what I kick saw. your ass I out. I just say what I saw. Well, you want to know what? You're starting yeah, trouble. You didn't see. I you didn't see. Was... Number four, a three-person brawl resulted in a trip to the hospital. Are adults physically throwing punches in front of the entire globe on television? Oh, yeah, that's a total embarrassment. Storage Wars' eighth season featured an epic showdown between three of the show's stars. Because of a terrible scrape that Laura gave him, Dave Hester went to the emergency room. Number 3. Kevin Pugh copes with family tragedy through his son Storage Wars Miami, Kevin Pugh's postponed show, was little in comparison to what was going on in his personal life. When Pugh's son killed a family friend, he did the unimaginable. During a screening of the reality television show, Pugh's son Hashim killed his mother's goddaughter. So depressing. People that make mockery out of my profession, that's offensive. Barry's got me in a real bad mood. Whoever wants it. Number 2. Dave's rocky start led to a successful career Dave Hester came into the industry in an unorthodox way. After getting charged with driving whilst under the influence, he fell into this job. Volunteering at a Goodwill store was part of his punishment. He got the notion to turn his furniture company into a thrift store after serving the community. Number 1. Mark Belalo's Untimely and Tragic End The terrible and unexpected death of Mark Belalo was one of the darkest Storage Wars incidents. Mark made his reality television debut early on and never failed to thrill and entertain viewers. When it was reported that the erstwhile treasure hunter had committed suicide, everyone was shocked. He was a good man and rest in peace. That concludes our video. So, do you think Storage Wars is completely scripted? Do you know any other dark secrets about Storage Wars that you want to share? And what season of Storage Wars is the most remarkable one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and bell for notifications on our future content. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.